All right, guys, so I'm back with another video. In this video, what I would like to do is uh, I actually have to start off by uh, fixing up an issue. Um, something I forgot because um, I don't know if I mentioned in a previous video, but I'm kind of I'm sort of doing these videos on the fly. Like I ha I don't have like an like a final e-commerce site and how it's gonna look. So I'm as I as as I'm building this thing out. I mean, you guys are seeing it as well. It's pretty much. Uh, like at the same time you know so uh so for this reason i mean i might get caught up in finding uh certain things i have to fix and such as in this instance here so i have to make a, a quick fix here uh right here it is to handle an error in the sign in component where is it okay so open up your sign in component if you go under the components uh, folder open up your sign in component and over here, when where we we have our event handler, the handle submit. If we go down here to our sign in function, where we make our HTTP uh, HTTP request, um, we have this portion here, this then block which executes if everything's successful. However, over here in this catch, all we did was console log um, that there was an error. But like if over here, for instance. Um, we're currently in the sign up page. If I make an error, right, like an invalid email, and I press enter, all it does is it loads, and there's no error that's displayed to us or nothing. It just it's just we have we see a loading icon, and the reason why it's just loading like that is because if we look prior to that function being executed over here in the set form up uh, set form data, we set loading a true. And at no point thereafter, after that, do we set loading back to false. So hence the reason why loading just continues. So, but this is a simple fix. All we have to do is in this catch block, um, if there is an error, uh, we can handle it over here. Okay, so two things that we're gonna do here is first, we want to be able to display the, the error that's, that's being sent over from the server. So the server sending a response and uh, uh, an error response. And we also want to set loading to false. So let's take care of that right now. Set form data and uh, spread out the current form data uh, right here. And then over here, we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, loading to false, so loading false, and the other one we're gonna do is we're gonna do error, wait, error message, and make that equal to over here. We're passing in the error object, so we do error response, um, error no, yeah, error response data, and then error message. That was the error message property that we had, we had a uh, sent or we had set on the back end. Um, so this is all we have to do, and if we save that, this should resolve our issue. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead and refresh our browser. All right, all right. So do the same thing. Watch. Uh, if I make an invalid email, it's the, just remove the L from Gmail, and I press sign in, you see the loading disappeared because we set it to false, and on top of that, that error response, that error message that's being sent from the server, we're making use of it and we're displaying it over here. In this case, it says invalid credentials. And so if I wanted to fix that issue, now I, I'm just, press the L and that error message goes away. All right, so that was it. Um, that was just a quick issue, uh, minor issue you wanna fix, all right. So let's go ahead and mark that off. And then the, the main thing here was I want to add some icons to our header over here. I, I felt that I wanted to make our, our website look more, uh, I guess, uh, more presentable and have some, some visual icons to make it look better. So um, I'm, this is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna add some icons here. And remember that we're using Font Awesome. Let me go ahead and close this, 
close this sign in component and if you look if i'm going to open up uh, under public folder under index over here at the very top of our index somewhere around here if i can locate it uh where are you at all right, here, this is our Fawn Awesome, and it tells us that the version is uh, version 5. So if I go over here to, uh, let's see, Google, and then Fawn Awesome, five icons, and click on the link here for W3 Schools, you see Fawn Awesome 5 intro. We have some categories here to the left of all the icons that we can make use of, okay? And we have for home, go ahead and put an i tag, and an i tag here, and make a class name. For the home, we're gonna do, it was fa, it was, give me a second here. Um, let's go to buildings. I believe it's fa, fa home and look for the home icon. Okay, right here, you see? Under buildings, go. you can go ahead and copy this. And paste that right in there. And if we save, and we look at our page, you see, now we got a home icon. Let's go ahead and create some space though between it, because you see it's very tight. Just over here, just create one uh, space, press the tab button for there and re and save it. And now it looks better. Right now we got some, some room there. All right, so next thing we want to do sign up and then sign in. So let's start with the sign up page. Uh, create a, the i tag again, add a class name, uh, class name. And this one is gonna be, I believe it was uh, FOSS, 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 sign was it sign no it was edit I believe it was edit we save that yeah that's the one I write all right so that looks better so it looks like a form with a pencil you know like as if you're just filling out a form and that's pretty much the purpose right sign up all right the same thing just create a space right there save go back and now we have space, all right? And now for the sign in, same thing. Add an i tag and add a class name for it. And this one is gonna be, it was FOSS, FA, and this one was sign in alt, I believe. If not, we can always go back to, to that website, uh, to this font awesome to get a reference. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. That's the sign in. So you can see like an arrow pointing inside a box is like sign in. All right. Go ahead, create a space between a sign in and save. Now we have a space. All right, great. So now, that, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's little minor small stuff, but it all adds up, right? At the end of the day, we're trying to make our page look uh as professional as possible, you know, building this with the MERM stack from scratch. So let's go ahead and sign in now. Uh, let's go ahead and sign in as uh, Jane Doe. Oh, actually, as a matter of fact, let me also show you. So also if we reduce the size of this, now, so this is like tablet size. You see even here, at, when we get the hamburger, it, the icon still shows up. Uh, mobile view still shows up, you see? All right, so now let's go ahead and sign in. Um, we're gonna sign in as Jane Doe because she is the admin. I wanna sign in as her. All right, we go to admin and you see these icons are not, we don't have any icons here. Uh, so let's go ahead back to the header and take care of that. Um, so now here for the dashboard, we can do the same thing here. Add an I tag and a class name of uh let's see for dashboard let's do fast yeah, let's do the same thing um wait yeah let's do home the seems uh and add a space here between dashboard 
this row is equivalent with zero, so zero would be for user, uh, but we're signing as Jane Doe. But we can uh, we can already assume that if we add that, the home is gonna exist, and uh, because but we can do the same thing here. Go ahead and copy this i tag here, that one right there, with the file home, and for the that for the other dashboard below it, which is the dashboard for admin. Add that, paste that inside there, save it. And now you see dashboard also has a home. All right, so we're home, like at the dashboard. All right, and for logout, we are going to just go, go uh, scroll down a little bit further or over here at logout, I tag, add a class name. And for this one is false. Uh, I think it, yeah, okay, it's false, fa, sign, out, and then alt. And if we save that, oh, and add the, add the space over here and save again and go back. All right, save, refresh. Okay, no, that wasn't it. Uh, sign out. Okay, all right, no problem. Well, like I said, we can always go back to here. Um, let's see, if I go to look uh, to the left, these are all the categories. I know it has, it's an icon for the arrows. So here, icons, arrows, click on that. And if you scroll down, keep scrolling as you can see we have many options here for our sign out all right this is the one I wanted all right so this one right here oh, okay I just forgot to put the dash between sign and now okay that's pretty much it um, yeah I can just do it here all right so add the dash there and then so oh, all right so we got dashboard and log out and if I minimize my screen, let's go to tablet size. We got our hamburger menu. You see, we still see it. Uh, mobile size, still visible. All right, so that's it. We took care of everything we needed to, and um, I will see you in the next video.